I'm pretty excited about this. I finally have my computer talking to my teletype. This is a really simple uh, RS-232 to current loop converter. Uh, in the teletype world, data is sent via 20 milliamp current loop. What that means is that uh, when current is flowing, 20 milliamps of current, the teletype is in mark state. And when no current is flowing, uh, the teletype is in space state. And that's uh, just the same as RS-232 uh, logic, but in RS-232, it's voltage, not current. So in RS-232, a mark is uh, negative 12 volts, and a space is positive 12 volts. Um, so what we have to do is convert the uh, voltage levels of RS-232 into uh, current not current levels, but current states. So uh, 20 milliamps or no current. And that's what this little guy is. It's uh, really just nothing more than a couple of transistors and an um, opto isolator. And it's got current limiting resistors that limit the current to 20 milliamp. Um, I have the value set for 12 volts. Um, and 12 volts just works out because then I can get away with um, fudging RS-232 on the receive side because um, most RS-232 cards will actually let you use 0 volts as a mark instead of negative 12. So I can use 0 volts and positive 12 volts. In theory, I haven't actually tried that yet. But anyways, let me turn this on. And... Uh, it's a little hard to see that LED is glowing, which means that right now current is flowing all the way into the teletype, back out here and completing a loop. Um, and that LED is in the loop, so it's getting 20 milliamps of current through it and it's uh, quite bright. And over here I have my computer set up. And uh, this is 110 baud, 7 bit, um, 1 stop bit, and mark parity, which is what this guy wants. And so now, in theory, with that turned on, I can put this in line mode. I'll come over here, and I should be able to type. Hello world! And this would focus. There it is. Oops, there's no backspace, so if I type AM instead of AN or anything, I'm just hosed. There's no backspace. Enter just sends the carriage back. And I need to do Control J for line feed. And over here. And where's my control J? Line feed. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, so the next step will obviously be getting the return path working. Got to get the receiver side converting a 20 milliamp current into. Uh, plus and minus 12 volts, or actually plus 12 volts and zero, and see if that works. If that doesn't work, well, then I'll come up with a way to do negative voltage. But I'm excited.